In the Turkana region of northern Kenya, drought is a perpetual enemy. When the ground dries up, the only source of food evaporates as well. It's at this point that the most vulnerable of the population is at serious risk and the elderly and children begin to die. As a mother, this is one of the most horrifying aspects of the slow starvation they face, watching their own kids die. Local Yan recently faced this unthinkable tragedy, losing her twins just under one year old, only two months apart. She says she's in so much pain because had she had food, she believes that those children would not have died. And so the pain is because she's wishing that she had food and this kind of disaster would not have happened. Because she was not able to find much food, she could not produce enough milk to keep the babies alive. After watching one little child die, she spent an agonizing two months trying to keep the other one alive. She panicked. She was so much worried because she knew that even the other baby she was carrying was at risk of death, and eventually the child died. Only four months after losing her children, Loko Yan still visits their grave as a reminder of all she's lost. But with two children still left, she can't give up on her desperate fight for survival. The rest of our children who are alive are still facing the problems of lack of food. But she struggles to weave some brooms that she sells to just get some money that she can use to buy food, but not, for, not even enough for a week. But hope is on the horizon for Loko Yan. She will be a recipient of the Turkana Eden Agricultural Ministry Project, which will provide wells and garden plots for 1,275 families in her community. She and her remaining children will be food secure for a lifetime, something that seemed like only a dream four months ago. She knows she's going to be self-reliant. She'll have enough food to eat and our famine will not strike her again. Dave Shelley, director of Crossroads Missions, was deeply touched by Loko Yan's story. We've just heard from a young mother who in the last 12 months has lost two of her four children uh, to hunger. And um, just imagine if you think of your own family, your own kids, if in the last 12 months you lost a couple because you didn't have food to eat. So we can fix the problem. This is doable and this young mother is going to be a beneficiary. She's going to be one that will end up with a garden that will be able to water it year round and she won't have any more children die. So I just uh, urge all of you that are listening, that have watched this, if, if we could all do something, I know that we can, uh, we can change this area forever and drought-proof these families. So please get on board and help us. Lokian also has a message for Canadians, especially for those who are mothers. The women of Turkana, when, whenever they give birth, they are very vulnerable. That is what happened to her. She didn't have any food, any special food to eat, even the time she was still nursing her two children. And she's pleading that if, if other women could stand with her or could stand with the other Turkana women at large, such a problem would not arise to a number of uh, women around here. If you want to help make a difference for women like Loko Yan, please call one 288 3 or go to crossroads.ca slash missions. A powerfully moving story, Cheryl. And uh, we're also joined now by Chester Van Hoosen, who is an international crossroads field representative. Chester, that uh, particular story is uh, particularly meaningful to you. Tell us why. Yeah, Ron, um, it brings back memories of a time um, about 20 years ago when my wife gave birth to a little premature baby and um, he only lived for two days. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the pain of death is something very hard to uh, talk about unless you go through it yourself. You know, it's very difficult to understand. But, you know, we at Crossroads here, and, and I believe that many of our viewers really understand this kind of, you know, because people have, have had these tragedies in their lives. And so we can relate to a mother like we, we just saw on that clip. 
And I really believe that a lot of the death that happens in the world today, especially due to hunger or lack of food and lack of clean water, are preventable, mm -hmm. completely, totally preventable. And you know, today, you know, we're faced with a challenge. I believe the Lord Himself, Jesus Christ Himself, is challenging all of us and say, what will my children do to make a difference? What will my children do to make a difference for the lives of others, of my children in Kenya? God's heart is for those people. God's heart is for that mother. God's heart is for the children. And He loves them so much. And I believe He's also asking us to partner with Him and love those children, love those mothers, and say, you know what, enough is enough. It doesn't have to happen anymore. And you know, really, we've been hearing the theme of justice, justice. And justice simply means that, you know, giving to each person what they really rightfully deserve. And you know, food is a basic right. Clean water is a basic right. Why should people have to go without clean water and enough food to eat? And we're not talking about just handing out food perpetually. We're talking about enabling mm -hmm. mothers like you just saw to be able to grow enough food to provide for her children. And you know, Chester, that's one of the things I so appreciate about you because I was with you when you met this young mom and I, and I saw how much it really touched you. And you know, in some ways you were angry because you were saying this shouldn't have happened. We could have stopped this. This is preventable. I, when I lost my child, I couldn't have saved my child, but this child could have been saved. You know, uh, Cheryl, many people, um, when they see the need, they say, oh, those poor people. And there's pity. And then pity sometimes moves to compassion. But sometimes pity moves to anger. And we say, why? And we rage. We really rage. And we say, what, a, what an awful world we live in. What an unjust world. You know, this corruption that's going on that causes these kinds of things to happen. The lack of food. Well, let me, let me tell you as a farmer, the earth, God has created this planet to produce enough food for everybody. It's our greed. It's our selfishness. It's our want for more that prevents others. And so, you know, it's just a very simple equation. Come alongside those people who are in need. Find creative ways, mm -hmm. such as solar-powered boreholes, to provide water for those people so that they can grow food. And, they can, and you know, those, those, those precious brothers and sisters of ours, they want to work. I'm a farmer. I'm also a father, as you know, but I'm a farmer. And I love to get my hands in the dirt. And that's one of the things, Cheryl, that we saw when we were there. Mm -hmm. what, what were they saying to us? Weren't, weren't they saying, we want to work. Yes, absolutely. We want to get our hands in the dirt. We Just want to grow us. food for our children. Yeah. And so I'm calling on each person that's watching today. I'm calling on each of you to say, why don't you be a part of that man, that woman's dream over in Turkana, Kenya? Why don't you be a part? Why don't you come alongside and stretch out your hand as a friend? As, as, a, as a fellow believer, as somebody, a, a child of God, and say, I want to do my part to help. And we have done all the legwork ahead of time. We're all ready to do all the legwork after the fact. All we need you to do is respond, and we'll take it from there. You can go to your phone right now, one 888 3 There are, are various ways that you can help out, specific dollar amounts that... Uh, that you see on the screen right there once again. $1,000 will drought proof one family. And that's just not for a short period, that's for life. That's drought proofing a family Amazing. for life. $150 uh, will help with a, a water tank, 1,000 liter water tank and the hoses for the garden plots where they can help to sustain themselves ongoing. Uh, $50 will help uh, cover seeds and tools for one family. Very practical ways. And again, the number is one 888 3 or you can write to Crossroads Missions, make checks payable to Crossroads Missions, Box 5100, Burlington, Ontario, L7R4M2, or give online at crossroads.ca. Everyone doing something will make a huge difference. And thank you, Chester, for all you're doing in helping Crossroads Missions. Thank you, Cheryl, for going there.